Hi, my name is Dennis and uh, I want to share with you some of my progress uh, with uh, uh, my favorite JavaScript libraries and how I'm connecting it, uh, connecting them to uh, build a very interesting um, kind of a playground uh, for the apps that are built with Vue.js, uh, the uh, reactive uh, components and uh, um, the ecosystem of uh, UI uh, framework uh, abilities. Uh, Vite is a build tool that will build our uh, applications small and fast and with many very, very wonderful plugins and also uh, my beloved uh, Pug and uh, Windy CSS for styling and for structure and uh, the most important one is the GUN uh, DB, the GUN.js uh, de decentralized uh, database peer-to-peer -peer. and um, it's uh, one of the two main components in my recent uh, project it's gun view so it's uh, a, a project can that can uh, connect the gun database and make it more accessible to developers to use to for their basic needs uh, in the uh, new kind of interactive web that gun uh, js is providing us so uh, we have uh, a very robust graph da database that may be used in a variety of applications and uh, I understand that uh, this garden <laughs> may be very very large from uh, the basic um, concepts of authentication with the uh, pair uh, with the um, cryptography and uh, so uh, many functions that may be wrapped to be very uh, easily used by uh, junior developers uh, and uh, guys who know UI and don't know much about the database and structuring data and uh, who just wants to grab a function with the composition API so they load a function that inside their uh, component um, scope and then they got so many uh, functions to have but uh, Sorry, it's no, not everything is documented now uh, and uh, we, will, we will have to go into the code uh, and I'll uh, explain it uh, later. But for now, I want to um, uh, say that uh, I came to the cons concept of a, a workspace, PNPM workspace that exports a number of packages into um, uh, npmjs.org and also um, uh, the monorepo that can build many uh, different things to be used with Vue.js and, and GAN and um, these are the uh, parts, the moving parts of the um, of the project. So it's composables, it's um, uh, composition API composables to be used in Vue and it's components uh, so they're just pluggable just uh, throw a component, a, a tag, a HTML tag with some props into your app and you will have all the functionality that you need from the GUN uh, P2P database. And also a one-line import and init um, relay server that may be run and in many different uh, environments. And uh, I personally use it with uh, glitch.com and uh, it's um, quite a nice thing to test things about and um, to not to worry about the uh, cost of maintenance and so on so on. And also there's a demo, uh, a complete uh, demo of uh, what uh, this uh, project is about because it's an interactive thing. Uh, also there is this uh, Taskade um, project that where I try to document everything I'm working on now but it's not in our focus today because uh, we're, we were not see the thing and uh, just uh, have a look how it works inside and uh, how can uh, anyone else uh, use it and enjoy it and have fun with uh, gun view so here i have uh, uh, this is i know it's not cached so here i have the uh, development server the vid server uh, that serves uh, the um, all the things uh, the app 
um, and with the hot module uh, replace and uh, I can show you where is uh, everything uh, going in these folders and how it works uh, firstly I want to document how I've uh, managed to build this system and uh, secondly I want to share it to for anybody to uh, somehow collaborate on the project so uh, let's start from the top uh, thing now uh, because uh, this uh, thing is uh, this this um, URL comes from the uh, demo but uh, the demo is uh, somehow linked to the other packages of this uh, repository and uh, the thing that it's uh, glued together is uh, first it's a PMPM workspace so we have these packages these folders here and uh, they are all analyzed and package.json is uh, interpreted and installed and uh, these top level um, uh, scripts are located here in my uh, VS code um, um, bar and so it's very nice to uh, push them and uh, get everything built so here we have uh, the dev server starts we go to the demo and then we uh, run uh, the dev uh, command here so let's uh, look at um, here what is going on here so uh, the demo is um, uh, is a vit and view uh, project it's um, uh, like here we have uh, vit and the server and the build tool we have some plugins for it we have the language pug and the windy css and also uh, the icons uh, here uh, it's the dev dependencies and uh, here we have uh, the workspace um, dependencies so these folders are here and it's synchronized and when uh, I manage to publish this these will be the numbers the actual numbers of the versions that uh, were used and uh, it's quite an interesting thing to use to have uh, such a um, monorepo and uh, now it works <laughs> and uh, I'm happy with it uh, so what we have here is the vit um, application uh, that uh, is uh, configured like this we have the ports port here and uh, not many configurations like but we have the view and we have the pages so we have dynamic routes there are uh, that are very very robust and easy to use uh, and I'll talk about it in a second uh, then this is uh, windy CSS my favorite uh, utility first CSS library it's fast and it's uh, really um, low impact on your uh, uh, package JSON and on your it's 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 really it's really neat thing so auto import makes me uh, miss uh, the uh, building import reactive or a ref from view so I don't need to import anything from you and also oh I don't I don't need this it's it's okay I know I have a storage a better storage so uh, everything from view I don't um, import explicitly it's auto imported any any view view thing to use it's it's it should be noted because you uh, don't know how the reactive um, uh, functions uh, appear in the scope of a component okay uh, so icons is very useful plugin by uh, Anthony Fu and the components uh, is the thing that makes everything very very fast and um, it's like uh, cheating a small cheating because here we can see that uh, this application in demo folder uh, can uh, auto import components uh, from the neighboring components source folder so everything that is put here in these folders will be uh, will become a component instantly available in any place of my uh, demo app without importing it so I just say that account auth and account um, auth will be a component that I'll uh, use uh, it's very useful it's very nice to build these demo app it's really um, simple uh, so and uh, here I have the build um, 
options that make uh, the application um, be built in a single uh, HTML, JS and CSS files that may be even more compacted in one HTML and maybe um, distributed via, for example, WebTorrent or uh, CSKY or some other decentralized uh, storages with uh, when you have a file and also a hash, hash for this file and it may be uh, found and uh, used later in the network. So um, these are the aliases. It's useful to have it because we uh, also import composables from uh, the um, neighboring folder, uh, the composables, that, which are separate packages that are um, uh, published from this repository. And uh, yeah, let's let's uh, first uh, see the build process. So I started the build process and it's already completed. And we have uh, this application that's working here in dev mode. We have a server, oh, a, a served um, final build version that has just over 600 kilobytes of code. And it's rather pow powerful with uh, such a footprint. Uh, it's uh, not minimized uh, and uh, it's not it's not zipped here because when zipping it's it's uh, maybe uh, two three hundred kilobytes of code uh, minified and uh, it's very nice and um, it makes uh, it really easy to publish on the CSK and I uh, do it let's see it later later and um, Okay, so this is uh, the app and uh, we are now not in the public source pages. Oh, okay, from the beginning we have the main JS that has the windy, windy CSS and the styles imported. Then we have the router, but the router imports pages that are automatically created from the um, folder uh, with pages um, inside. So that's it's it's rather uh, easy here, and then we have uh, the app app uh, view, and so it has the nav bar, this bar here, uh, with the links with docs. Uh, we'll see them later, and uh, with routes that are uh, loaded from here. So these are the. Um, uh, routes for the uh, navigation bar and uh, then we have the uh, router view and uh, then uh, everything that is um, uh, loaded inside here is in our pages uh, directory uh, and uh, here we have the index view that is loaded when we are at index or uh, so we are in the root of our uh, application. So, gun view demo, we are here. Yes, and um, here is the uh, relay pulse. So, it's the um, first uh, component that we are using uh, to show uh, the uh, connection performance of our um, relay server. And uh, let's uh, check how uh, this. Um, how, uh, but no, let's let's not <laughs> dive into code now because let's uh, see what we have uh, already in the functions. So yeah, this is the uh, the QR code and um, of the current page, and I want to build it uh, so you can uh, show the code for any page uh, that is loaded. So it's instantly uh, shareable between uh, people who met each other and are working with. Uh, uh, one uh, server, one one app, because uh, we can of course have this not on localhost, but here it is on GitHub I/O, uh, and um, the same data data is here and here. Uh, and okay, let's see what we have uh, in in here. Uh, we have uh, the auth section where we can. Uh, auth uh, and uh, this creates um, a C uh, pair, cryptographic pair, pair. Here is the pub, uh, but uh, you can um, just copy your pair and uh, use it uh, later or save um, a print screen of this uh, QR code with the whole uh, cryptographic pair. Uh, and uh, you can also download uh, the 
JSON, it's not working in Firefox for now, but um, it's, it's, it's easy to just, just, just copy this, then I can log out. Yeah, refresh, I'm not logged in, but then I have to just paste it, and here I have um, uh, my user back. Uh, but after reload, it, it instantly recalls the user, so it works fine. And while I'll, I'm uh, uh, in uh, the account, I have this uh, data, I can move my uh, pointer this pointer uh, in this space and uh, the space is very interesting thing because uh, yes we can go with another browser auth here and uh, move our move our uh, dot this point uh, with um, the mouse and uh, it's not very very fast uh, I don't know um, what's uh, the main cause of the problem but uh, if you understand if you um, if you know that uh, these movements are uh, cryptographically signed and uh, let's see this um, space here so we have uh, the function uh, that is um, Mm. Here we have uh, the database, and uh, uh, the main thing is that, uh, yeah, the, uh, the yeah, yeah, this this thing. So uh, the x and y position uh, of the mouse uh, is uh, put into the private uh, encrypted uh, or not uh, cryptographically signed um, uh, the uh, the cryptographically uh, signed graph of a user with this uh, pair so uh, with uh, with it in mind we can uh, yeah yeah th this is this is working finally with many many <laughs> Uh, refreshes uh, for now it's not so uh, nicely built that uh, I really need sometimes to refresh the page to have the uh, changes uh, flowing seamlessly but uh, finally it works um, and uh, the main thing is that this um, assigned data uh, may not be um, altered by third party and uh, it's um, it's it, it's a, a starter point for a decentralized uh, application because the every dot uh, has its own data about its position and it's not in the app it's on the on the uh, user himself in his uh, storage and the app just takes this data and so we can have uh, another app that can uh, use this data to uh, uh, draw a line, for example, like uh, having remembering the previous past, or just uh, just just make it 3D or something like this. So um, the the main thing is that uh, it's it's uh, doing what it's doing. It's uh, having the uh, position shared between uh, computers. And uh, let's move because I think there is something interesting. Uh, later and more. Yeah, it's it's right at the beginning, and uh, the thing is that it's not mostly on the UI uh, stage. It's in deep um, database uh, uh, wrapping up, and uh, this is the only thing that uh, works like like it's an app <laughs> uh, so let's see we can have uh, an Im immutable uh, um, graph uh, database uh, based on hash uh, sums of data that is put to the graph and these are the things that are available uh, are uh, available because of gun.js so I have a glitch peer uh, set up in my app hardcoded it shouldn't be like that later and I import gun and then uh, establish the uh, um, uh, gun uh, connection and then uh, this instance is used throughout all the function all the things that I have 
and also everything from here is exported and it may be used from here because we finally uh, collect everything inside our um, index.js and then it's exported uh, through the package.json uh, to the, to the um, npm uh, module you can use. So uh, we have the gun and C of course and uh, some helper functions but uh, later uh, is the thing that we will use it for our sake to create some interesting things. Yeah, so we have um, the tags and the, the tags section here and we import gun.js and also some hash functions, helper functions from here uh, which uh, make the right uh, um, a type of hashing for um, our um, uh, hashed uh, immutable graph. So we can have hash text. So we see work this text with uh, this uh, algorithm and uh, we can have a uh, hashed object because we just stringify it and then uh, return it to use later uh, in, to, to be put uh, in our immutable um, graph. So uh, we use these functions and uh, the next thing that is um, going here uh, we have some very neat things to play with and they are already uh, built into the uh, composables uh, so we don't need the components to use these wonderful uh, embellishments uh, that are used in the component but uh, let's see what we have now. Uh, this, uh, this is the component uh, that is uh, built here. We have, uh, oh, okay, uh, first we are, we have the demo pages, so we are at the tags index page. So this is the no tag selected text here and here, uh, no tag selected here uh, and the router view so if there will be something later it uh, will be um, used also so now we have tags index and uh, also we have these uh, tags uh, uh, the, the, this uh, is uh, the thing that has this index so tags view is tags uh, the route and uh, here we have tag list tag list so uh, while we are working with pages we don't have much code here because it's all about routing and uh, in nested, nested routing and uh, managing the uh, route parameters and then these uh, things from the from the route will go uh, to the props but for now we have the tag list the, and uh, on the event of a tag it will go to where it is, uh, it is uh, directed. So this component, this tag list component, uh, will um, show us that go to this tag, and uh, we can uh, find it how it works inside. Uh, right there, we go to the components, and here we have uh, the uh, the tag and list. And uh, what we have here is the uh, composables. So we have uh, a component that also doesn't have too much code. It's uh, talking about what's it, em it emitting and what's it important from the composables. And uh, the other thing is mostly uh, HTML that is compacted by the pug uh, syntax is that I find very like poetry like. And also some CSS, but, but it's windy CSS. It's almost like Tailwind CSS, but truly open source and uh, less commercial, as I think. Um, but uh, it's uh, it's not important what to use. But the concept of the apply and these things, I I, I love. I I hated CSS uh, for some time and uh, used Stylus and other um, uh, build uh, build tools, but. Yeah, Windy CSS has my heart. 
yeah and um, so we are here we have this input and with this input we can have uh, the tags count so we know that we have 40 uh, tags but where are all them so we can start typing like uh, where are <laughs> all of them and we find this um, fuzzy uh, filtered uh, filtered results so there is no where tag but here it's Terry tag wow we go to the tag yeah so it's tags Terry and uh, here we have the uh, insides of the tag and then we can uh, dive into it and we have tags Terry and this is the hash uh, sum of the data put in under that hashtag uh, yes and uh, uh, so it's it's URL safe and uh, we can browse the data with this but if it's not correct now page is found but here we have it it's um, uh, got f it's 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 uh, loading from the uh, p2p database um, and we have the title the description and the markdown uh, text here so it's uh, rather <laughs> useful now uh, yeah and the main thing is that the data here is immutable totally and fully uh, yeah uh, and even the uh, tags are immutable and everything under them and inside the tags is uh, an immutable graph uh, hashed graph and uh, we can learn it from here uh, this is the gun uh, graph uh, uh, inside function like a utility uh, that is uh, used here uh, so gun uh, dot uh, low dash dot graph uh, it's an object that uh, gun uses inside um, and uh, finally we don't have the um, the hierarch hierarchical uh, JSON uh, object no we have a, a plain list of uh, um, of nodes of our graph so what do we have here we have the tags and here are all the tags um, put as hashed immutable uh, records so everything that i wrote like trying testing everything out uh, has has the hash uh, sum and it's it's immutably here i i don't know how to delete it um, because uh, i use uh, already um, kind of five or seven uh, um, devices to uh, test this and so these uh, this data is all around my uh, clients I, but i know how to uh, re refresh the local storages uh, at once but um, it's it may be more difficult with when the app grows and i try to mm, be uh, mm, easy with this because just like this these may be hundreds and thousands of records and it will be easily parsed with our browsers maybe tens of thousands of tags because then we have uh, the uh, fuzzy search uh, going on uh, inside the tags here so uh, what we have we have the ref for the search so this text uh, this uh, ref will, will be uh, connected to the um, to this uh, input and uh, when I change it it will be a reactive uh, thing in to be reacted for <laughs> so uh, this is the slug and uh, I use the slugify to um, make it uh, like if I use some uh, white spaces they will be uh, like dashes and um, it's 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 just even when I put some Russian words it's it's uh, nicely uh, transliterated to be used safely in URL and also if I use some um, some uh, smileys they won't work as I found okay uh, but maybe it, it worked it worked seems it like oh it, it's we can see here we can see here that these are the tags that are um, that are used really that, that are in the hash 
tags uh, graph and um, that define these uh, search uh, function here. But uh, the main thing is that we uh, have gone uh, DB here we have hashtag tags and this uh, makes the uh, lower part of the, the, the inner part of this um, um, node uh, it should be um, uh, immutable and um, uh, corresponded to the hash sum of the data of the contents so it's 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 like um, it's like blockchain without blockchain without chain it's like blocks uh, that are uh, like bundled <laughs> Uh, everywhere but we can connect them in many many uh, um, ways and uh, so here is uh, the thing we just grab the tags from um, the database and uh, that's uh, that's pretty it because then we just uh, have the array uh, we transform the, uh, the the list into array. Then uh, we get the length of the, of the array, and it's shown here. Then we have the fuse, uh, that is a fuse fuzzy uh, search library, fuse.js, and uh, it grabs the um, this um, computer, the array, and also um, it manages the. Uh, search because then when we have the results we uh, have um, the slug value so so we have we got the slugified search and react to it and uh, export it as the results so results is an array of uh, fuzzy uh, found uh, things that will uh, show here and also the mean score uh, shows if we have found exactly what we are we're looking for because here we can demo oh, we don't have uh, the plus thing because we the uh, the mean score is zero. We found that there is the demo. That is pretty much what we were uh, looking for. But if we gave, gave like demo, demo more, so we can create a new tag and go inside to uh, add something into it. So uh, when we add something into it, we uh, first of all we we have added um, the tags so let's see it here the tags and uh, we were adding demo more oh here it is oh not, not loaded demo oh it, it won't load because it's not like correct uh, record uh, so here we have the demo more uh, and uh, yeah we got it immutable uh, we can't uh, cannot uh, uh, remove it from the list but let's see how we can uh, have some uh, ways to control the uh, what is shown here okay so for now uh, let's uh, dive into uh, the um, inside the page of a node uh, but not a node but a hashtag so it's, we have tags and this is one of the tags um, and demo more and uh, then we have use tag posts uh, so we have uh, the functions ready here so when we uh, find them and uh, when we load them we can control everything right from here and now we have the use tag post. So uh, we have a reference of a tag. So it's just a, just a reference ref uh, of a string. And then we react to the uh, changes in the ref. And uh, every time it changes, we have this computed, calculated, and it's uh, then um, used. Uh, here so uh, inside this computer so this uh, has a, an um, like a, like a chain effect uh, yeah and uh, in the first phase uh, we have the reactive object ready and then it's populated with, with the things that are located under the hashtag 
that we've chosen we map over it and we get an um, async function that first of all checks if this content is inside the hashtag ban um, graph so if it's there then uh, it won't be added so it's it's simple it's simple like that so we can just go here and uh, take the ban and here it is the uh, things that are banned and if I take this text here and uh, go into some other um, uh, not banned okay I'll grab another tag here and oh I, I'll take the text like this oh it shows oh because uh, maybe oh I, I I need to check this out but it, it 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 it's it's funny for it to work like this I think it's like a uh, public uh, public uh, like registry but uh, it's one one shot you, you just throw anything to ban and it's never uh, shown again but uh, everyone can uh, just un unban it um, by themselves if they think it's worth it I don't know it's it's a thing to, to change this uh, to um, uh, lines of code so it's doesn't matter it's just a playable playful thing but uh, the main thing is that we can uh, have a, such a um, such an interesting space of this immutable graph to play with so it's like uh, you post something and it's there forever and um, it's shared between everybody and it's it's like stones you create or something like uh, immaterial but material in um, uh, in that space and it's it's re it's really interesting to play with so like um, we can uh, imagine these are like rooms uh, 50 54 like I, I like to talk about uh, something like this and then we get here and uh, I play hello hello everyone hello everyone here yeah. uh, this is the room 54 uh, lobby uh, and here I can say even like uh, like mm, go to our mm, website and uh, let's take it uh, here like uh, it should be maybe um, uh, oh it, it may be like this uh, like like just 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 uh, like gun that echo I, I think I think that uh, markdown should <laughs> uh, understand this uh, okay so let's try it okay uh, no no it didn't recognize the markdown uh, because it's strange domain but it's okay I can this is markdown okay but the main thing is that we have this thing written here I, I can't correct it I can change it uh, so I, but we can uh, build on top of it so we can comment on it we can hide it uh, for uh, me or mm, just have um, a suggestion for others to hide it to and uh, we can have uh, like ratings of these items because we can have uh, we have the handlers for it just the uh, hash sums and uh, it's deter it determines the color here so um, so so go ahead go ahead um, you're you're welcome and um, try it yourself and uh, maybe I can post I can post a picture here uh, so let's try and do it uh, like this uh, okay so it's uh, closed and here we can have it yeah yes so we got the markdown parsed here and you can imagine even with that you can uh, maybe publish some texts and uh, your uh, notes your maybe uh, things that you think that should be immutable forever <laughs> checked twice try triple times and you can create uh, a very long uh, 
and complex tag for your self yeah and this is the interesting part so I've created this uh, very long uh, and complex tag and I have it here and uh, yeah we can find it so if I go to the text I think very and here we have it it's added but I can tell it yeah let's go to this tag and this tag uh, isn't in the list for now but yeah it works like that uh, direct uh, access uh, like personal uh, or group call a group a group talk okay so I've posted this here yeah it is uh, in the graph right now here we can uh, find it yeah for us for us the, this is this is here but for uh, the first one isn't here anymore because just just because it's updated so let's hear you see that this tag is there but the tag that we have we, we've added isn't there but it's accessible here we can we can take this this node and more nodes and so uh, this is the space for anybody to publish any data that will be immutable and will be uh, reachable but those who know what to uh, find what to search for and also when the peer um, partner who shares the data is on the website too and shares actively the data because the relay peers doesn't store anything yeah we can make this the relay store many things and uh, I hope uh, it will be easily um, built uh, by ourselves but for now it, it comes to a moment when you have to pay for the for the storage and uh, it may be uh, huge with the graph database and I think the future is that uh, nodes uh, will be uh, in a DHT and uh, Mark Nadal is working on it but for now uh, I try to use it the gun uh, DB as a, a no store uh, relay it's very fun and uh, mind-blowing <laughs> yeah and um, yeah so so the tags uh, are pretty understandable so we have uh, some um, immutable data uh, that is posted uh, into immutable um, tags uh, and um, uh, it may be linked and uh, elaborated on uh, later so we can uh, do many things with with these like composables and components so uh, we have the label and list so label are these little things that uh, actually uh, grab the count from use tag posts like the list uses uh, like like use here we have post list so here we have the list um, and uh, the same thing is running when we just grab this so it's it loads instantly it's preloaded yeah and uh, then we have the posts uh, listed here and um, uh, you can see that uh, these uh, use uh, posts uh, use tag posts uh, they load from gun and um, you can add there and when you add you have to hash the object and have the hash after the tag the hash and the text uh, of the object the stringified object and then we get it out we take the timestamp and the last updated so we have the uh, we know when this hash um, uh, hashed data was posted uh, last time because uh, we can post it again and the uh, timer will uh, update the timestamp will be new but the data will be the same and the hash will be the same 
So then we got uh, the timestamp in our uh, object that this is the reactive object that we uh, use uh, then. Uh, and so we populate it with the, uh, so we get the hash value, so we know the, con the correct uh, post. Uh, oh, it's, we're, we're in post, so in, with posts we, we just... Uh, yeah, yeah, with post we, we can have uh, this time and then we get all the data from here. Uh, we also check the band, I don't know, it's, 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 it's optional. <laughs> uh, but the main thing is that we uh, add everything. If, if the um, data is parsable by JSON and it's an object, so we assign it to the reactive object here and all the uh, data from the um, that is stored inside the uh, hashed uh, stringified um, object will be in this object available reactively so we can react to any change in that or if uh, it's not json parsable so it's it's a string and we'll say the string of here the hash and the string is the data mm, and we will uh, empty say that that if if everything is happened we uh, assume that the object isn't empty okay and uh, that's what used on the post page uh, in the post page component and uh, we have the markdown parser and we have used tag post so we get the tag and the hash that are from the url so the tag and the hash and uh, then we get those tag and hash into the tag post that gives us the post that has all the things that we need mm, yeah uh, then we have uh, the post title if it is there let's let's show it there uh, it's the tag its title it's last updated this uh, number uh, the close button that emits close and uh, uh, we have the page description that's doesn't isn't present here but the post text that is marked down rendered it's here in this white bubble so uh, this is the page uh, and uh, it's it's pre pretty nicely working you can move around and uh, find some uh, some gems some, some some things some parts of the graph and uh, create some parts of them yeah and uh, i think it's 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 most beautiful part of it because yeah we can just check what the graph is and it's it's not very big it's rather uh, rather nice because when uh, we are building with uh, c certify and uh, the c user system uh, gun user account accounts we have uh, very big uh, data sets because just look at this we can uh, after we uh, log in uh, auth into user here we have the user data yeah yeah this is the pulse yes and this is the sign signed uh, the, the the sign of a um, user that uh, he signs that this data is definitely it and uh, posted by him and this is the pub uh, key of a user and these are replicated very very fast and the database grows uh, and uh, here we can have it really really small and uh, nice to play around because even these big um, posts are just simple and uh, the markdown isn't uh, too much of a problem uh, but also we may uh, have uh, images here even videos uh, of small um, size because uh, finally they are stored in peers and we don't care about <laughs> the bandwidth and uh, the the size of the uh, particular uh, records in this uh, immutable graph so the last thing I want to share is the uh, gun uh, data tree thing. Uh, there's more, of course, uh, inside because uh, uh, we're working with color here, with color hash and uh, some uh, shades of colors to play around. Like here we have uh, every um, 
every name has uh, its own colors by these functions and uh, here of course every uh, post has its own color corresponding to the hash sum so we know this this post will be always this color and if it changes then the post is changed uh, i think it's rather nice uh, queue visual queue and uh, also of course we have uh, all the crypto things going on but it's it's the early beginning and i want to use uh, as much of uh, libraries that are already there like gun util and uh, with this i want to show you this gun util uh, data tree uh, thing because i think it's a really really powerful thing to use and it works fine it works nice so what what we have here is an ability to use a tree that uh, is is uh, growing in a graph and uh, when i put data here i uh, update the recent um, node that is pointed to the, to, to the today's uh, day but you know, we have the data tree adjusted to have the day uh, like um, resolution so for the day uh, I have this record and uh, if I add something just the just a timestamp it will be updated uh, so um, let's see how it looks uh, yeah put now so when I uh, press put now this data is just a timestamp and uh, we have uh, let's so put get today yeah so we get the date the, the present date and put there like event put like event put and data is the timestamp that we got from here so uh, even if we give it and the full date it's uh, working with the resolution of one day and so it's updating that this day if if it is a resolution of a second uh, for example as i is i think yeah we we are getting new and new new data but it's it's uh, divided into this into seconds i like the day function so it's it's collapsed back uh, for to the recent uh, one to the recent um, uh, timestamp and i also can update it back and let's see if uh, when i yeah it, yeah it's back but the date is there but it's not shown and it's very useful so we it's it's for now hard coded but we can uh, make it uh, of course configurable from the uh, like use data function when we take uh, and give it the uh, root so where we start then from w what time we're going on we're we're searching until so it's two years later uh, and um, and it's 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 really it's really nothing here because yeah we have the tree on and uh, we get the date and the data and we populate the uh, the data tree recent this this object here and uh, that's that's it that let's just just the, with it from a, a, and until and uh, yeah the, the data tree recent is here shown here we can build all kinds of um, interfaces here and uh, now it's it's uh, public but I'm thinking first about gun user get tree yes and making uh, it uh, private uh, scope and also we can try to make a date hash tree so we put hashed uh, data inside the um, tree and then we can uh, mitigate the trouble uh, with the count of the tags that will be growing and growing and growing and uh, if we have uh, for example a year resolution uh, tags then we can uh, be um, or adjustable so we can a month of tags please or something like this then we can uh, have uh, less problems 
after years of playing with these immutable graphs. Uh, so I think it's useful for chat apps or some other kinds of uh, apps, collaborative apps, because yes, we can have uh, the trees under users' um, private graphs, but then they may, may be uh, just collected in one and sorted by, for example, date, and so we get the uh, chat for uh, multiple persons. and. Um, that's pretty much it. So we have the graph and also you may see that we need, didn't query for the tags and yeah, we have the tags but no tags uh, loaded and so we don't care about them. They don't bother our memory. They're just somewhere in the IndexedDB um, database and uh, it's easily uh, one gigabyte of storage in a browser so uh, we can be like relaxed about this data but i don't know if all these kind of kind of demo things will uh, survive some months of tests and uh, development uh, with this uh, type of uh, setup but uh, the last thing I want to show is the gun uh, view uh, documentations about the composables. So we have uh, like this uh, account uh, where we get um, the user uh, uh, the account object with these uh, parameters uh, properties that are useful. That is the pub of a user. That is the pulse of a user. Recent timestamp. A blinking boolean uh, to have the blinking effect on the user uh, here these blinks because it responds uh, to a, a gun db refresh every 500 every every one second so it shows that you are posting constantly in your uh, database your uh, pulse and it works fine so these other docs they are um, built straight from uh, the code because I use the uh, JS doc um, documentation uh, in line. Um, I don't use TypeScript. Uh, I um, think that Mark Nadal is right because uh, with his ideas that uh, TypeScript is uh, overrated <laughs> to be stated. Uh, yeah, but it, it's a matter of choice, of course. and. Uh, I don't know if you use React, if uh, the use uh, components and the composables uh, may be uh, easy to comprehend. I don't know if uh, JSDoc is the optimal solution for that, but I prefer not uh, uh, doing too much TypeScript because I love how uh, compact and uh, understandable the code is. Uh, it won't, n it never will be so easy to read with TypeScript. Um, and uh, I don't know, yes, uh, we we can talk about TypeScript la later, but for now uh, we have uh, all the things in plain JS with, uh, React, uh, with uh, Vue.js um, bindings and uh, it's, it's, it's really, really simple and I love how it works. It works uh, really fast and uh, quite reliable, uh, reliable thing. And um, one thing I want to share is that, yeah, we can have it just at the CSKI easily uh, deployed and um, it may work uh, really peer-to-peer -peer, uh, and everything is loaded but the version is is older we don't have the numbers uh, but uh, yeah we, we have all the all the uh, data here and th this is a, an example of other apps using the same databases to have so much fun like as as they want because these tags are immutable and public and everyone may use them to create anything uh, new and fun and uh, I think it's 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 rather interesting to play with. Um, I hope you like uh, this as much as I like and uh, maybe you have uh, some ideas how we can improve uh, the project, the parts of it uh, or build something uh, more because uh, for now I have the website uh, scratch with with WordPress but I have problems building it uh, it it it's always 
like uh, has some errors uh, after the 20.0 uh, uh, version so it's it's somewhere <laughs> doesn't can't can't find the front matter I don't know it's it needs debugging and uh, many many bugs and uh, it's 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 really a draft now but uh, I think it's uh, a nice process because it's established process and um, uh, the last thing I want to share share is uh, that I use a change set that uh, is um, is a tool that uh, controls the versioning and updates and uh, change log of all the uh, packages so when we update some of them we can uh, just mention these uh, updates um, and uh, like these versions and we can say minor uh, what what we've done what, what did what have we done we um, Oh, nothing nothing special so let, let's not <laughs> have the summary and uh, the update but uh, then we can uh, run a version so it uh, changes the change logs of every uh, package and then uh, updates the version in the package JSON and then just hit publish and everything that was updated will be published on the np npm uh, js.com uh, and also don't forget to uh, build docs from uh, GS uh, doc uh, and uh, that's it uh, and also yeah we may publish this to the uh, github pages it's it's fast it's free it's um, I think one of the best uh, ways to share some uh, web uh, apps and uh, I think that's all for now uh, Hope you enjoyed this time. Hope you have some uh, new insights about uh, GunJS and uh, Vue and how to uh, make them uh, live together and uh, make some wonderful apps with that. And um, if you have some questions, ask me. I'll try to explain everything that you that's not very clear. Uh, and uh, see you. See you next time. Bye.